Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Boom, boom. He's almost giving you the feeling here that he's completely indifferent to all the pressure. I mean, this is a guy that's been there, done that, and he couldn't care less about the pressures that are in front of him. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Teddy, I assume many times in your career, you were instructing a fighter that was going to face a fighter who just had the longer reach, flat out had it. What did you tell him? What did you try to cement in his head leading up to that fight? You know, sometimes you get caught up when you're fighting a fighter with those great, outstanding physical attributes like tallness and height, reach advantage. You start to think that only one way is the way to go. You got to force yourself to work your way in. I remind myself and I remind my fighter that you can step out and make the taller man give up his height. Walk him into traps. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Carries that punch away. And he engages in the clinch. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. One, two, one, two. Keep it tight inside. Good work, toe to toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Let's go, hit him. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Don't stay in one spot. He missed that uppercut. Very nice defensive guard there. And here he goes again with the clinching. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Ten seconds remaining in this round. for me. Deep breath. Breathe through your mouth. Good, good. Okay, very nice. How you feel? Good? Good. Okay, you need to finish with the hook. Finish with the hook. It's easy. It's there. Here we go. Round two is underway. Little head hunting with the left. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Well, that's a smart fighter because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. There you go. Good block there by Boom Boom. Look at his punches! Come on! And now they're trading blows! Halfway through round number two. Combination to the head. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. <laughs> Unable to land clean by Boom Boom. Well targeted two punch combo by Comeback Kid. We count down the final moments of this round. And 
And that does it for this round. You're doing fine. I need you to move your head for a side. Beautiful job. Oh, beautiful. Nice work. All right, I, I want to see more uppercuts, okay? He's moving in with his head down. He won't see the uppercut coming, all right? And round number three is underway. Lands the left after setting it up with a jab. Kid Comeback's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Boom Boom's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. You're not focusing. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Penn. Made him miss, made him pay. Good combination to the body. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Blocked by Boom Boom. Halfway through this round. Nice work blocking that and then an uppercut of his own. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Inside. Boom Boom's got speed and plenty of it. Teddy, still, I'd like to see him just bite down and fight a little bit. Yeah, you'd like to see him sit down a little bit, bend his legs a little bit, and make those punches a little more effective. Not just great where they look good. Not precise at all by Boom Boom. Double jab by the comeback kid. Uppercut! Uppercut! Last 10 seconds of round number three. Comeback kids got to deal with a cut cheek. And round three comes to an end. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing. You got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. Hey, listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take these shots. In. So with three rounds complete, we take a look at Teddy's scorecard. You see him holding on. Keep moving, keep moving, move, 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 keep moving around the ring. Good return fire that time. Boom Boom's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Kids defense is it ever good look at how easy he's able to block those punches he took a shot but he gives one of his own a left hand scores not hitting his mark there going upstairs Boom Boom's really doing a nice job with that hook on the inside there, Teddy. I noticed his opponent squared up a bit. Makes for a bigger flush target. Well, yeah, there's a lot of surface there when you square, and he's finding that surface. Halfway through round number four. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Move your head. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Jab, jab. Boom Boom's punch didn't come close. He comes back with the left hand again. Come
comeback kids putting on a display of accuracy, and the punch numbers Don't tell that story. Here you go. Back to action here at the start of this round. That last round was very interesting because it was the kind of round that can turn a fight in a completely new direction. He did well. Yeah, you know, the old time saying was uh, bad start, good finish. Well, that's what he's hoping for, good finish. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Comeback kids not firing off the big power punches. I got to wonder why. Sometimes a guy is making a solemn agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what had come back at him. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. Comes right back at him with a left hand. That's a forceful two-punch combo by the comeback kid. Comeback kid's punch is far off the target. And he's holding. good right there. You're seeing some smart boxing by Boom Boom. Yeah, a little step to the side, break up the pressure, and at the same time, put yourself in a position where you can catch him a clean shot. All right, Teddy, let me put you back in your old job here. You're going to be trainer here. Now, we're just coming off of a round there. We're clearly, I think he won the round, but it's a close competitive fight that your guys probably win. Yeah, I know what not to tell him. I'm not telling him he's winning. That's what I'm not telling him. I want to make sure that he keeps his edge. You know, he stays smart and everything, but the only reason that I think he's up is because he's keeping the punch output. He's staying sharp defensively. You know, he's still attacking in the spots that he should attack. I want to keep it that way. Hit the body. Close the jam. What an impact that left hand just made by the comeback kid. <clears throat> comeback kid's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Get inside, get inside. One, two, one, two. Not able to land the headshot. How about that left hand? Halfway through round six. Nelly ties up there. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Move your head. Good block by Boom Boom. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. He just missed that shot up top. Boom Boom's really bringing a lot behind that uppercut. Teddy, how much of a factor is the lower body in landing that power shot? Well, it's everything, really. It's kind of like being a golf player where you get all your talk with that swing where you put your hips into it, sort of. The hips are going into that punch, and he's really bringing that trunk right up into the punch. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by the comeback kid. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Listen to me. You're getting caught up. You're getting caught up and fighting his fight. Focus from me. Well, 
the ability to adapt, so important. Who can make the changes now as we're halfway through this scheduled 12-rounder? That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Great work offensively landing that combination by the comeback kid. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Not able to land the uppercut. One. Good work by Comeback Kid. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by the Comeback Kid. Blocks away that headshot. Snapping jabs by Comeback Kid. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Comeback Kid. Nice one. his opponent got away from that uppercut. Final 10 seconds. Okay, relax. This fight is so close. It's really close. Let those hands. This has been a really good fight so far tonight, Teddy. We look at your scorecard. It's obviously a close fight. The start of the eighth round now. Neither guy can get a distinct advantage over the other. No, well, they can, but so far they haven't. And one of the ways they can is one guy can start doubling up that jab, start using that jab a little bit more. In a close fight like this, that's enough to separate. Each man able to land an uppercut. Now hugging on the inside. Two good jabs by the comeback kid. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. A little head hunting with the right. Oh, a nice two punch combo by the comeback kid. Boom Boom's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Ten seconds of the eighth round. How great. about that exchange? The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like... Going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. He missed with that headshot. And now we got a fight. 
He fires back a right hand of his own. Double up when you punch it. I'm walking in his punches. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Uppercut. Nice work by Boom Boom. He was looking for an opportunity. He got it with that counter punch. Yeah, he stepped to the side. You know, a lot of times you talk about using your jab to set up a shot. He used his legs. Stepped to the side, got that opportunity. Digs in with a good, solid uppercut after taking one. One, two jabs up top. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Get in there, let's go. Stay on the inside. Move your head. Uh, Keep moving. Uh, See him timing that double jab to the head. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Oh. Comeback kids coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Oh, you got this one. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by the comeback kid. We come to the end of the round. Comeback kids, Cutman is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things, Avertine, Adrenaline, and Thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Boom Boom's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. And now he's targeting upstairs. Blocks the headshot. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep and just head grabbing moving. on to his opponent. Anybody, and anybody. we've reached the halfway Up point of round 10. with uppercuts. Boom Boom's hands see right now the Close difference with what we just Use saw, able to land Use that combination. Ring. Yeah, he's probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. And yet another big shot comes in. That shot crashes in, and now he crashes to the canvas. You get lazy with your jab, you get sent to the canvas. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Big, big shot he just scored with. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's the and it's over. Look at this. Comeback kid smashed and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count.
ladies and gentlemen, by, by way of knockouts, your winner, Bruno Mancini. I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. Boom Boom's your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. Well, I'm glad you liked it. It's just as importantly or more 